right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for something I'm really looking forward to. So pack a bag and get ready to bring a new pair of undies because we're going to get tons of sand in our pants. We are heading over to Genos' territory battle, Republic Offensive, and I want to answer the question and dive into how viable is Jedi Master Luke Skywalker when it comes to this game of the most difficult PvE content in Star Wars Galaxy is now card in the top right hand corner earlier today I showed you my initial gameplay of me finally unlocking Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and even a possible cool indestructible Jedi Master Luke Skywalker trick in that video that we showed earlier on today long story short he's killing it even without all the Zetas and alternate abilities I'm doing amazing work with him but now I want to take a look at this this game mode has been a big struggle over the past year in Galaxy of Heroes mainly because We've been needing two Jedi teams, and obviously uh, right here, Jedi Knight Revan with uh, Yoda, Bastion, Jolie is important to knock out this first Jedi mission, but we've been struggling to finally perfect the second Jedi mission right over here. And Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker has been our best answer so far, and I've been consistently getting three out of four, and sometimes even four out of four. And today we're gonna throw in Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and see what he can do. So, since I already did my Jedi Knight Revan battle, Here's the Jedi that I have left over, and I'm going to run the Jedi Knight, uh, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker lead. Keep in mind, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, we've shown gameplay of him in GOTB. This is really helpful to slow down the enemy team, but because we're testing out a new character, we're going to put Master Luke in the lead, see what he has, and uh, again, I do not have all the Zetas yet. I am Zeta poor. I do not have the ultimate ability. Uh, we So far, we just got Galactic Legend and uh, Legend of the Jedi. And I'm modding him for as much protection as possible because with the lead, so long as he's got protection, he is going to be taunting. We're going to bring in Luke Luke with Hermit Yoda. And then for the last two stuff, I've been playing around with some other Jedi. Plo Koon for massive turn meter gains to keep the, the, the Lukes going as often as possible. And I got a couple of options for the last slot. We can do perhaps Ezra Bridger. Uh, we have I have Ala Sakura, Barris, Old Ben. Um, see we're starting to get more opportunities if you have master luke you have to have jedi knight luke and then you have uh, you have to have hermit yoda so right there's the core tree of possibly the next great jedi team i'm gonna roll with this for right now i like ezra bridger for all the assisting and big damage so here we go send him on into battle give him an air horn let's see if we can try to get four out of four with this right here so let's start right at the very beginning we should probably just go and smash an ability block I would guess at the very beginning to try to slow down the oncoming damage and then we'll start spreading around the Jedi lessons right here. So boom, beautiful. Let's even get Hermit Yoda to start passing Grandmaster's training or Hermit to Master's training over to Luke right here. Beautifully, that's gonna be our main source of damage. I really like Jedi Knight Luke lead mainly because he gets to call all the Jedi to assist. And here comes Plo Koon with the massive turn meter gain, 50% turn meter for our Jedi Rider. So boom, lots of turn meter. And now what we'll start doing is we're gonna start spreading this and I'm gonna give it to Ezra Bridger because he's my other damage there. There we go, double hits right there. Now we're gonna call in uh, Luke for the assist right here. So we get, let's get these B1s out of here as fast as possible. And let's start spreading this one. We're gonna give it over to Luke, beautiful. B1s out of the picture at the very beginning. And we already slowed down the Geonosian Spy, which is fantastic. Let's actually go ahead, put some, well, uh, you know what? Let's keep spreading this around. Go give the Luke. Keep getting big damage out there. Fantastic. Get a big stun. So much control with the uh, Luke. Uh, both Luke stuns. Ability blocks and breach. Fantastic. We're going to start spreading this around. Let's go and give it to Ezra Bridger. Beautiful. Spread, spread. And keep in mind, the Jedi lessons are going to be very important when we finally do get that ultimate ability on Luke. Big uh, hit right over here. It's too bad we don't have an AoE buff this build to get that Geo Spy out of here. Big hit right here. Beautiful. Boom, nice hit right there. And now we got another big hit coming in. Who needs it? Let's go ahead and give it to Luke. Probably should have thrown that over there for the buff mini. Minor misplay, but here we go. We'll fix it right here. Beautiful. We got the buff mini. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get Ezra Bridger maxed out on the Jedi lessons. Deleted. Get out of here. We're going to put some force up. We have to get prepared for what's to come here. Let's do um, AOE defense down, not like our offense down. Not like that's going to help out too much here oh who needs it let's go ahead and start giving it to uh Plo Koon. beautiful get Plo Koon maxed out here here we go another round of ability blocks we're gonna keep the spy on lockdown boom get out of here man so much control going here there we go Ezra Bridger should hopefully clean this up passing over that master's training over to Ezra Bridger and so far 
This is looking pretty darn solid. Who do we need to give it to? Uh, they're maxed out. Let's go to give it to Hermit Yoda. Max him out. Pass it over. Uh, let's just go. Actually, we don't really need to do it, but we'll do it anyways. And Plo Koon, keep in mind as well. We haven't been really appreciating it all that much. A Plo Koon's basic can do us very solid buff this spell as well. We're going to save that for next wave here. Boom. Beautiful. And let's see if we can try to get... Uh, let's see. We could probably just do our special right here. Get rid of them. Uh, and, 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 and he's gone. Fantastic. So pretty solid first round right here. Just do that for right now. I don't want to waste that other ability. Uh, just do basic. And I think we're going to get these fools. There we go. Beautiful. Clean them out. Bam, bam, bam. And we got it. All right. Pretty solid first round right there. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can try to get the four out of four here. I'm loving the massive amounts of control we have. And there we go. Plo Koon coming in with the Terminator game. Zoop. Full on. Oh, wow. Full on Terminator for everybody here. Let's give it to Luke right now. Beautiful. Now let's hope we can get Ezra Bridger for a couple of hits here. Boom. Can we get another hit? Boom. Ezra Bridger for the multi hits. It's going to be pretty darn solid. Let's see if we can try to get some stuns right now. Get the control going. Fantastic. All right. Who do we want to give it to? Let's go and uh, give it to Luke. Beautiful. Almost gone. And we're going to give this over to... Uh, let's get to Luke one more time. Beautiful. B2's out of the picture. All right. Let's start focusing on these droids and here we go nice big ability block coming in and boom i just I, with these new galactic legends they both have these big boom abilities that i'm really loving all right they're gonna deploy here in a moment let's go and do this we're going to let's start working on that droid cup and uh actually let's work on this guy because this guy can ignore taunts if i recall correctly and let's go give it to ezra bridger there we go beautiful big hits 20 000, 20 000, not too bad there we go luke taking some serious punches spread around the training we're gonna give it to jedi master luke skywalker there we go oh man that is looking pretty solid okay what do, let's save the buff the spell just in case they start deploying we have to have a buff the spell of some sort right there and let's see what do we want to do let's spread this around let's give it to uh let's just go ahead and give it to plo koon right here there we go. Try to spread it around as much as possible. I'm going to give that over to Ezra Bridger. Big hit, big hit. Don't deploy. We're good. All right, so we lost our protection. We have to try to get that back, and that's where Hermit Yoda is going to try to come in handy here. All right, who wants it? Let's go give the Hermit Yoda. A little protection right there, and we got our taunt back. Fantastic. Throw that up. Regenerating protection. Fantastic. Let's start working on the commander droid. So far, I'm loving the look of this. Uh, of course, you know, uh, it's not going to be the most accessible team, but just to show you that if you are going for Luke, this is going to be incredibly important and in, in regards to moving forward in the future and trying to get more stars in Genos and Teratops because it is a tough game mode let me tell you uh, only one guild I believe uh got 33 stars or two guilds at the very most has gotten 33 stars this is really meant to kind of keep you busy for quite a long time and that breach is really slowing it down so although we don't have the Jedi Knight Luke lead giving us the, the speed reduction that comes along with them the breach is kind of uh, helping us out here who needs it? Who wants it? Let's go ahead and give it to... Uh, let's just keep giving it to Luke or Ezra Bridger. They're the bigger the, the bigger damage dealers we have here. All right, let's keep our protection up. See, I'm a bit worried. Once we drop that protection, I get a little bit iffy for how this is going to move going forward. Come on, get him out. Big hit. Come on, almost there. Almost there. Let's go ahead and give this to Ezra Bridger. Fantastic. Boom, big hit. And I think we got it. All right, we're going to save the Jedi teachings for the next round. So it's taken a little bit of time. To make progress here, we'll save the ability blocks there, but still, nonetheless, it's looking pretty darn good. All right, Plo Koon, last one, and he's got the buff dispel. So we have three buff dispels on this team of five, correct? We have a basic, double basic buff dispels of Plo Koon, as well as Jedi Knight Luke, and then we have the middle ability on Ezra Bridger. So we have a lot of ways to control this team here. All right, so we have the elite version of this fool right here. So it's going to be difficult to chop away at the, the 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 battalion so we're gonna actually go after them first so let's actually first throw up a stun beautiful get some terminator jump oh man that terminator gains very solid save the buff the spell for a moment let's give that over to jedi knight luke skywalker fantastic and then uh do we want to get the i feel like we can wait on that ability we you know let's get the breach going the breach is gonna be fantastic to slow down their oncoming uh speed and then we're gonna pass it over to ezra bridger beautiful beautiful couple big hits right there give that over to jedi knight luke skywalker big hit right there looking so good so far and uh pass it over let's give it to ezra bridger max him out fantastic and then uh whew, man we have so many ways we can go about this i'm gonna give it over to uh, hermit yoda we have them on lockdown baby luke skywalker coming in getting his bad boy out here one hit to it and give that to ezra bridger and i think he's gone fantastic all right get that protection back up on luke we got to keep that taunt on as long as possible and let's do that that should get us uh the days i believe correct yes 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 so let's go ahead and do that and uh we pretty much max out everyone plo Koon could use a few but you know what? i don't care i want to get luke skywalker for the assist here 
All right, let's see. We have the Plo Koon buff to spell on the basic. That should help eventually if he gets that taunt or the, the damage immunity going. Give it to Ezra Bridger. Let's go, go. Big hit, big hit. Come on, big hit right here. Give it to Luke Skywalker. Save the buff to spell. Come on, don't deploy. All right, he deployed. We have plenty of ways to work with it. Actually, oh boy, what are you doing? No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, no sense crying over spilt move milk. Let's keep this show on the road. Big shout out to Oblivion One from Maw Chromium for spotting us with some backup footage. And I'm actually kind of glad our gameplay crashed to a degree. I think it's fair to assume that Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, the run we were having, we were on track to easily getting four, uh, four out of four in that Genos of Territory battle wave, even without the altered ability on Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, and even without having complete Zetas on Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. And I think that's a huge thing to accomplish. Unlike Rey and Kylo, you kind of need the altered abilities on those characters to really get very successful ways in Genos' territory battles, it seems. With Jedi Master Luke, it seems like you don't even need to go that far. And this footage that we're showing is with the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker lead. And Oblivion 1 has all Zetas on Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. And they wanted to do the JKL lead, but I think it's important to know that with the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker lead, even though he has the altered ability available to him, it's almost impossible to get that altered ability going for a Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. It seems like the optimal way to get to the altered as fast as possible is going to be the Jedi Master Luke Skywalker lead, but I think it's great to show nonetheless because during our run that we were doing together, <laughs> I was talking a lot about how the Jedi Knight Luke lead might be nice because the speed reduction that comes with the Luke lead. So either way you go, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker lead, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker lead, both seem to be very suitable leads to tackle on Genos' territory battle. Luke, uh, Jedi JKL lead increases the, uh, the damage of your team and has the speed reduction, but Jedi Master Luke Skywalker has a bit more defensive viability, it seems like, and still has the breach, which the breach is gonna reduce the speed and the defense of the opposing team. And if you pair Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker with the stuns, you get tons of massive control over the team. So overall, I'm very pleased with how Jedi Master Luke is uh, panning out for GOTV, even with that, without that alt tip. It's really great to see how far this team comes. And it's great to see that with these leftover Jedi, like Ezra Bidger, Plo Koon, I'm pretty sure we can make Old Ben work, Aayla Sakura, so many other combos. You're gonna get another solid Jedi team to start tackling that second Jedi mission. No, it's, we were expecting that maybe Mace Windu rework, Galactic Republic Jedi reworks was the key to making GOTV easier, but no, it's Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker and Jedi Master Luke Skywalker seems to be the foundation for that second Jedi team that we need to start getting more stars than Geonosis Territorial. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming up. And again, thanks to Oblivion 1 for the backup footage after that horrible accident that occurred a few moments ago before the eyes of millions of people across the galaxy. Like if you did enjoy the video, comment down below. What other fun Jedi combos are you thinking of as a making your GOTBs easier? I know not a lot of you guys have it. I think about 500 so people have Jedi Master Luke Skywalker right now. But if GOTB is something high on your list and your guilds list to do better, Jedi Master Luke is definitely going to be helping getting more stars completed for your guild. All right, people, be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. More videos on the way, and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, it's always great to be in the Empire today. Hit out that outro.